night. A Buddha, Buddha, Buddha. Just like everyone has a nip nip. In the hokey pokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Get the leg out. This is what it looks like. That. Sorry, I'm a special specimen. Don't mind me just stroking my breast. Hello, my lovely humans of the interweb. That is like the weirdest phrase I think I've ever said. But hello and welcome back to my final Super Hall Sunday of 2018. Oh my gosh, how many Sundays is there in a year? Because that means I've done that many Super Hall Sundays. Okay, I need to ask Siri, one sec. How many Sundays are there in a year? 52 Sundays. Now I know I didn't upload one Super Hall Sunday, one of those Sundays, but that is 51 Super Hall Sundays. Sorry, but that is a record. Um, so I thought for my final Super Hall Sunday, I would ask you guys what you wanted to see over on my Instagram. So I said a Primark haul or a Boxing Day sales haul. And the majority voted for a Boxing Day sales haul, but also a lot of people messaged saying, what about both? And I was like, hmm, maybe I'll pick up an item or two from Primark whilst I am there. So I have got pieces from Primark, Topshop, and Essos. So I have bought some of these pieces in store from Topshop and from Primark, but online I actually ordered the ASOS stuff because obviously they don't have an in-store shop. I did also want to get some Zara pieces, but am I the only one that literally can't stand the Zara website? Like I find it so stressful. I don't know how it works. It's just a weird layout. So they need to sort that out, but let me know if we'd like like a January sales Zara haul, because if I go somewhere where they have a Zara, then we all know that's just gonna have to happen. So yes, I'm gonna get a wiggle on. I'm gonna start with coats because I honestly do believe that coats are such a good thing to pick up in the sales. Um, because babes, it's still freezing England and it's gonna be freezing until like April. So that's another four months. So, you know, it's a good buy. So from Primark, look at that mini bag. I'm not sure I've ever got such a small bag from Primark. I got this bad boy. So, this was originally £30, and it was reduced to 15 as we can see there, I don't know if you can. Um, and this is just an aviator. Now, I thought this was, A, it's such a nice colour aviator. Um, it's in this really, like, soft grey, but it also, um, it, just, it just looks really nice, and it was £15. Primark, you go, Glen Coco, let's pop it on. Oh. It is a little bit snug on the arms because I do feel like aviators I normally buy in a 10, but I feel like I probably should have looked harder and there probably would have been a 10. But this is said aviator. It's such nice quality. Like we all know that I've been loving the PLT black aviator this year and I'm not gonna lie, this is not half bad you can obviously like do up the zips and but i never do like i never do up an aviator i just think it looks a bit weird i don't know if that's just me i don't know if i think i make myself look like a little blob but yeah the arms are a little bit cropped i will say that um but oh wait you could just but i feel like that looks weird when you turn them down but if i was really cold i could turn them down and then it does kind of fit me a bit better on the arms but if you didn't know Hi, I'm Misha Grimes. I have ridiculously long arms, considering the fact I'm only like five foot five and a little bit. Um, but I've got my long arms from my dad, so yes. Very good, 15 pounds, well spent. Let me know down below which items you think I should keep. But like half price, you go Glen Coco. Moving onwards. Next, shall we go to the next coat I got? Yes, I got four coats, whoopsies. Two from ASOS, one from Primark, and one from Topshop. So, this bad boy. Okay, I swear I've seen someone like Freddie My Love buying this, or someone on YouTube. Let me know down below if you guys know who. Buying this Topshop coat. Now, this is in the petite section, but I got it in a UK 10. So, I was kind of like, mm, that'll be fine. Now, this is... £45 in the sale, so still not a cheap item, but I'm pretty sure it was like £65. Whoever had this has actually ripped off the price tag, so that's a bit annoying. 
but it is this leopard print faux fur coat with the most gorgeous pink collar i don't think i would like this if it didn't have the pink collar and like i still don't know how to feel about leopard print i am wearing a leopard print belt right now this is from quiz and this little shirt is from fashion nova and it's far too short to be wearing as a dress but yolo i'm in my own bedroom so this is said coat now oh my gosh this is actually so cute is it too oversized is it too wide don't think so this is really cute one thing that annoys me is that the collar oh no it does does it no way where's the hook wait what wait i'm confused there's hooks on this side but there's no hook holes for them to hook into what surely that's not don't mind me just stroking my breast i'm not being thick i swear i'm not being thick <gasps> okay i am being thick they're very very subtle but obviously you can do this coat up i do think 45 pounds is still i mean that's not that expensive for a top shop coat we all know that i always say top shop is a bit more pricey so get it when it's in sale because it's a lot more bang for your buck but this is really cute. I wish this met up perfectly like that. But then I don't know if... But no, this is really, really sweet. Again, the arms are a little bit short on me. But that is probably because it is a petite. So it's for the shorter person. And although I'm not tall, I'm not sure either. I'm like the weird middle in between bit with a long body and not as long legs. So yes. Next coat. Because I don't really want to take off my dress until I've done all the coats. We're going to go to ASOS. I've got them hung up on my door, that's why I'm heading over here. I'm not literally gonna like take us to ASOS, that would be a bit bizarre. From ASOS, I have two very different style coats. This one is ASOS brand, and I will start with this one. I don't think you could find anything more Misha. I'm pretty sure this was still 50 pounds, so it wasn't cheap, but let me check the original RRP. RRP, what does that even stand for? <laughs> don't know let me know down below no guys i've bought this coat and since i've bought it i bought it at 50 pounds and it's gone down to 37 pound 50 from 75 pounds <gasps> okay i might need to return this one and reorder it sorry but i am not wasting like 20 quid let me check how much i paid i paid women 52 pounds and it's now gone down to 37 pound 50 okay if i love this I'm returning and rebuying. If you've never done that before, then sorry, I'm a special specimen. It is a very thin coat. Um, it's quite an oversized fit. So I got it in a six, even though I'd normally buy coats in a bigger size. Uh, but I mean, it's just so cute. I'll show you the up close details. So these are all actual brooches. So you could steal them and put them on other things as well. Um, only if you're keeping the coat. I wouldn't recommend stealing them if you're not. Um, and then it's got these little pearls sewn on. But... Let's try this bad boy on. Let's see what the deal is. Hopefully I don't like it. But I don't know if that will be. Oh, I don't know about the shape. Okay. Yep, you can see that. I love the colour. I love this detailing. But I don't know if it just looks a little bit too, like, shapeless. And this is in a size 6. I just think it needs like shoulder pads it needs some more structure but i am thinking if i did it up and put a belt would that improve it because it's so beautiful I'm just gonna take me christmas prezi first excuse oh i don't this may not have enough holes in it though but i'm now putting a belt on a belt because you know that's totally normal um we're gonna see i mean i probably shouldn't put a belt on a belt i don't think this saves it does it I don't know. Oh, I love this, but I don't know if I like the shape and I look too much like a crinkly... I don't even know. What about when it's open? I feel like I'm definitely going to need your opinions on this one, guys. Because the actual, like, details of this coat I love. But the coat itself, I don't know if it's just too thin. Because I just kind of feel like that. That is what I feel like. A scarecrow or something. Um, on a side note, also from ASOS, got this hat... Um, absolutely no clue how it's going to look on because I currently have space buns so this is what it looks like um, but I'll pop a photo of the model in it because she obviously looks a little bit better than I do right now 
but stay tuned on my Instagram stories to see if I like this on me. But this was, if I could find it, four pounds. So I thought, you know, even if I don't like a cute Scottish person, I'll try for four pounds. It was originally 14. So it's kind of like a weird shaped hat, but I quite like it. We'll see, we'll see. I really should have done my hair differently, but it's so greasy. So I'm just trying to cover like the evidence of grease. It is that time though. I'm sure lots of you can relate. It's that time between Christmas and New Year where you don't know what day it is. You don't know what week it is. You don't know what you're supposed to be eating. You're, if you're supposed to get out of bed. I have not this week got out of bed before 12 o'clock. I don't know what is wrong with my body right now, but I have been sleeping till half 11. I'm a late riser, but that's late even for me. So, yes. But anyway, moving back to the hall, I just had some gentlemen sit outside my window, staring at me really oddly as I talk to a camera. At least I'm fully dressed though, because otherwise, if I was trying on bikinis, that would look even more peculiar. So, that's an option. I feel like I've got four coats. I can't keep four coats. I feel like maximum two out of four. So you're gonna have to comment down below and let me know which one I should and which ones I shouldn't. The next one is a very, very different style to the others. This is from Stradivarius, but it's ASOS Stradivarius. And this is in a size small. And it is basically a MAC trench coat, but in this most beautiful red tartan, kind of Christmassy, but we can still wear red in January, that's fine. Uh, MAC coat, yeah, I don't think there's anything else to describe it as. It's kind of like a copy of the Burberry shape. I feel like any coat I see in this style, I just think of Burberry. Um, I would imagine if they did this in the Burberry color, that'd be beautiful. Again, a very, very thin coat. Like this is so thin, um, but let's see. It is the sort of one where I, I don't know if it looks right undone. I feel like you need to do up all the buttons and then like tie the waist. So you like snatch in your waist on a coat, which I always feel like is quite a cool vibe. It's like a coat dress. I kind of feel like Inspector Doolittle and I kind of love it. In my eyes, this is how I would wear it. Like with a short dress, so you know, get the leg out, oi oi, and then like belt it. I think if I didn't have such a thick belt on underneath, I could belt it even more and snatch in. But does this again look a bit too like saggy? I don't know about these thin coats. I just felt like they don't hold their structure as well. But then I do still really like it. Like it's such a cool design. Alfie, why are you barking downstairs? This one was originally £70 and reduced to £34.50. So £34 is really not a bad price, but still don't know. Let me know. I've never been so undecided in a haul. I feel like though, because the stuff's in sale, you kind of just pick up anything and you're like, oh yeah, I like this, it's in sale, it's reduced. As soon as someone in England has been told that there is a sale, they instantly want it. So yeah, I feel like I've made some bit of brash decisions. Let me know what we think down below. Um, next up, let's continue with ASOS. Um, did I get anything else from ASOS apart from that one item? I don't think so. So, I got this jumper. Now, mum, when I showed her this, was like, oh my God, that looks so Jack Wilsey. But I'm pretty sure this was like 22 pounds. This is in a size small and it's by Brave Soul. But then it says that a size small is a 12 here, which I don't think it is. The original RRP of this was 35 pounds. So it's not that heavily reduced, but it's still worth having. So let's pop it on over my dress. I might take off this belt um, because I just don't feel like the leopard goes. Um, and we're gonna turn this into a little jumper dress my space buns, RIP space buns. This is why I should have done the jumper last. Anyway, okay, let's pull this down. I feel like this little detail here looks quite Kenzo inspired. Now they did say this was an oversized fit and they definitely meant it. What is it about this haul that I feel like everything looks like a bag on me? I don't know, does it look cute? Again, I feel like this needs a belt, but I don't know if that would look really weird of a belt. Like, I don't know if you can belt a jumper. But, on a side note, oh, by the way, I really shouldn't be standing in the Super Hall Sunday because I've been to the gym for like the last two days. And you know when it's like, oh yeah, post Christmas, get that sweat on, and you just, you go too hard. 
and then you just have to go home and crawl. I've been crawling in pain for the last two days. My thighs feel like they don't belong to my body anymore and it's really quite painful. So every time I bend, I'm like, ow! Like when mum woke me up this morning, she was like, I, I straight away when I tried to get out of bed, we're like, ah! She's like, we don't need to hear it! I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm in so much pain. So this hat actually goes perfectly. Um, might be a bit much. But where's my pink belt? Maybe this will save the day because I actually really, really like this jumper. I think it's really, really cute. I'm not sure this is going to work. Oh, what is it? Oh my God. Uh, I love the jumper, but maybe I need it like tucked into something or like hanging out or shaking it all about and doing the hokey pokey and you turn around. That's what it's all about. Next up, let's go back to Topshop and stick with the jumper trend. I don't know why I'm saying it's a trend. Jumpers definitely aren't on trend. They're just a thing. So this one is a UK 8 and it was £39 reduced to 20 And I just thought, A, this colour, B, this fabric. I just thought this was so beautiful. I feel like I might be able to get away with wearing this as a jumper dress. Probably shouldn't, but do I care? No, everyone has a butt cheek. Just thought I'd let you know. Just like everyone has a nip nip. Like, yeah, it's a thing, by the way. So I'm really not too bothered if I flash my butt cheek or my nip nip. But anyway, I'm gonna pop this on and we are gonna see. Um, I might try and put it over this white one, but I'm not sure it's gonna work. So let's see. Okay, RIP space buns. Come on, Misha, you can do this. I believe in you. Oh, yes. Okay, now I look like Michael Jackson. Freela, Freela night. What is it about this haul that I love the shape of it? I love the like thing of everything, but then the shape is just slightly off. I don't know if it's the fact of how wide it is, or is it not? Why is everything so baggy? I don't understand. It's actually lush, but I feel like it needs to be worn with like jeans or a little skirt rather than this white thing because I think that might be what's putting me off. Maybe do I blame the white shirt for this? I think I do. But it's such a nice quality, like the colour, the everything. I do think it is like worth having in my wardrobe because I think I would live in it. But yeah, you're going to have to help me out down below and let me know. Last two Topshop items are actually dresses. Now I'll start with this little leopard number because is this leopard print or is that cheetah print from it or is that tiger print? I don't know because it doesn't have like the leopard pattern. I don't know. Anyway, so this is a little, I think it's like a midi dress. I'm not sure. I didn't try any of these on. This was originally £39, reduced to 20 It's in a size 6 and it's like a slip dress style, which in case you didn't know, I absolutely love. I think it looks so sexy. And I do actually need something to wear out on New Year's Eve. So maybe this is an option. Maybe is it too much? Maybe is it not enough? I'll try it on and we can find out. Um, let's just pop it on this way so I don't have to go and get half naked on camera. Let's see if my bum fits in it. My bum's in. Fabulous. Okay, now, okay, now I probably should exit stage left because I don't want to flash a nip nip. Even though we all have them, don't want to get demonetized. I've done something wrong. I don't know what I've done. Oh, that's not right. Okay. <laughs> Give me a sec. Approximately 10 years later, I have finally got this dress on and it, I don't know why I found it so confusing, but it is quite high here. I feel like I want to pull it down a little bit. Now it's made out of that fabric that literally sticks to you. Like every time I let go of it, it just falls back, but it does look very expensive. Here's the back, really beautiful back. I love the cow neck. I don't know when I'd wear it though. This is my only problem. Um, you can, I mean, I have got a little bit of a post Christmas blow, I'm not gonna lie. And I feel like it kind of covers it a little bit. I'm not sure. Does it highlight it? Does it accentuate it? Can I get away with it? I wish it was slightly lower on the chest because I feel like that does not look nice on me. I like things a little bit more low cut, as we know. Um, but it has potential, so I felt this is a maybe. Now, you're probably thinking like, wow, Misha, are you playing an angel in the Christmas concerts? 
Uh, no. So this is actually a Topshop Boutique piece. Topshop Boutique is actually their more pricey range. It's got slightly better quality fabrics. It'd be using like silk rather than polyester. And also it is the one that they do like the catwalks on uh, for their fashion weeks. So this was originally £69, which is expensive for a white dress. Um, and it was reduced to £20. And it kind of does look like a little Christmas angel. But I feel like with a belt, this could actually look stunning because the fabric is lush. I feel like I want to find what fabric it is. Okay, so this wasn't quite what I was expecting. This wasn't quite the image I had in mind. I apologise if you can see Nip Nip, but I don't really know. We'll go with. So, sleeves are beautiful. One is actually a bit broken. Um... The rest of it, I look like a saggy paper bag, but I feel like if I stick a belt on it, it might save it because I still stand by the fact the fabric is stunning. So I'm going to take my quiz leopard print belt because all angels wear leopard in case you didn't know. See now, I think this looks kind of beautiful, bougie and expensive, but do I still look like I did five seconds ago? I don't know. Okay, so this has been my final Super Haul Sunday of 2018. It's definitely been an interesting one to end on. I feel like I'm going to be checking the comments, seeing what you guys think, and you're going to have to let me know what I should keep and what I should return and all of the above. So I hope you have enjoyed. This is actually going to be my last video of 2018. I love how it ends on a Super Haul Sunday because I just feel like that's so me. Like, oh. I get a bit of mosh. This year has been most certainly the craziest year of my life in so many good ways, in a few bad ways. But you know, that is life as we know it. We have the ups and we have the downs. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for being a part of this journey with me. Thank you for supporting me every step of the way. To anyone out there that has watched even 10% of the videos I've uploaded this year, thank you from the bottom of my heart because I think I checked and it's like 350 videos I've uploaded in 2018 which is an absolute joke for both the fact that i've uploaded 350 videos like go misha i'm not normally one to tap myself on the back but that's quite impressive but also if for you guys to have watched them or some of them or even one of them it still means so so much to me so yeah thank you from the bottom of my heart for 2018 for making it the year that it has been and yeah i'm gonna wrap up this video i hope you guys have enjoyed i will link the items down below if you want to check any of them out so this is going to be the final video that you can enter the holiday giveaway so this is for you and your bestie or your mum or your brother or your sister or your family relative or anyone to win with you so i will pop a video on the screen of all the goodies that are in it this is just my thank you to you guys for sticking around with me this past year and sharing the christmas spirit and the Christmas love because presents for all. I wish I could do presents for all. To enter this giveaway, all you need to do is to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment down below with what is the favorite gift that you got somebody else for Christmas, not that you received, that you gave somebody else, then head on over to my Instagram, give me a follow, check out my latest picture and comment tagging your best friend to enter. And your best friend has to also have done these steps. Just to mention, they need to follow me, they need to subscribe. I'm going to be announcing the winner on January 5th. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys lots. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do for me, even if it's just watching a video, clicking a like, leaving a comment, like every single bit of that means so much. So I love you guys lots. I will see you all in 2019, which is absolutely crazy. So bye. Bye guys.